Today's lecture continues our series on vitamins with vitamin B1, also known as theamine. Now, theamine, or B1, presents as TPP, or thiamine pyrophosphate, which is a cofactor in many reactions involving dehydrogenase enzymes. These enzymes include pyruvate dehydrogenase in the TCA cycle, alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase in the TCA cycle, transketolase in the HMP shunt, and branched-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase in branched-chain digestion. Now, a deficiency of vitamin B1 is associated with a decrease in glucose breakdown. Now, certain organs which use glucose digestion constantly, such as the brain, the heart, and muscles, would be affected first in a vitamin B1 deficiency. There are certain pathologies associated with a vitamin B1 deficiency, the first being Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. Now, a patient with Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome would present with confusion, ataxia, ophthalmoplegia. There would be damage to the medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus as well as the mammillary bodies. The patient would present with memory loss, personality changes, and confabulations, which is a $10 word for inserting new life events in a situation where you have forgotten certain aspects of your life history. Wernicke-Korsakoff is typically associated with malnutrition, alcoholism, and malabsorption of vitamin B1. Another pathology associated with vitamin B1 deficiency is termed beriberi. Beriberi normally is associated with all four of the TPP-associated enzymes being dysfunctional. Now, there is a dry beriberi, which would have a decrease in an amount of fluid, which would present with muscle wasting and polyneuritis. And then there is a wet beriberi associated with an accumulation of fluid, which would present with a dilated cardiomyopathy as well as edema. In the diagnosis for a vitamin B1 deficiency, one would tend to look at an increase in red blood cell transketolase activity after a B1 administration. So if a patient is suffering from a deficiency of vitamin B1, one would assume that after an infusion of vitamin B1 into the system, there would be an increase in transketolase activity in the red blood cells because they have been deficient in this enzyme. And these are the basics of vitamin B1.